We're going to be watching the solar eclipse today and touring this fairy tale cottage right here behind me. It is a very special day today. I'm so excited. Let's go check it all out. Today we're in Hawking Hills, Ohio at the Briar Vale Cottage. I brought my family along with me, my wife Savannah and our two sons, Weston and Bishop. This is Bishop's first Airbnb we've been to all together. His first trip. And Weston's been to a couple, but he's been so excited to come to this one whenever I was telling him we're all going to go visit one together. I'm so excited. I'm back here. So this is definitely a family episode with all of us hanging around, uh, exploring the area together. We visit some shops together as well, food reviews, uh, and of course the solar eclipse. Today we're really close to the path of totality. So later in this video, we're gonna be driving up whenever that's happening to watch the solar eclipse all together. And it just can't be more of a special video if you ask me. I'm pulling up onto the property. Uh, this place towers over you whenever you're driving down the driveway. It is beautiful. There's not many places that look like this. It looks exactly out of a children's book or a fantasy movie and this is one of my favorite styles to look at and to enjoy personally I was so excited whenever these people reached out to me and I thought this place is so cool so there's so much detail on the exterior from the roof shingles you don't see this too often it fits well with this cottage the copper gutters you see all around I've never seen that before I'm sure that was a pricey endeavor but it adds a lot of character to this place and the windows the front door it's a wooden arched front door and there's even a small window you know where people knock on it in the movies and they open up the small door to see who it is this looks awesome and even down to the cobblestone looking foundation all around it there is not a detail missed with this place so let's walk up this staircase right here in the middle and walk up to this front door and check out the interior but first it's almost time for the solar eclipse let's go drive up and go check it out it'll move it'll move we got time look how dark it is holy crap it got really dark. This oh is freaky. Goodness, it's dark. You look up with your naked eye. Don't look up with your naked eye. Hold on. It hasn't done it yet. Holy crap. Wow. Holy crap. Wow. Wait for wow. it. Wait for it. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Holy crap. Wow. Oh wow. my gosh. That's that insane. That is amazing, God. Wow. Look how dark it is. No. No, this no. is so cool. No. Oh my gosh, it doesn't even hurt to look up. This is insane. It look sunset 360. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Jeez, that was crazy. Close it. Look what I bet. I wow. Are you gonna do daddy's job? Yeah. I I'm, think more people would subscribe if Weston was the tour guide. Walking inside, it feels very spacious in here. This is a split level design, so off the main floor you can go up or down the steps. And there are two bedrooms and one bathroom in here. So definitely for a couple or a family with children, which is what we are. Four of us, we fit all in here perfectly. It's just very cozy in here, and you can see that immediately. This first room is the great room. The living room, you can look up at the ceilings. They're all vaulted with the beams up there. There's two chandeliers hanging. Adds a lot of space in here by the ceilings not being short very tall and here is where you'll probably be hanging out most of the time the living room space you have the blue couch right here on the right side underneath this window facing your coffee table and then this faces your frame tv what's this up here TV. yeah right here might not look like a tv it looks like a work of art which is why i love frame tvs that even did the frame around it to make it look like a work of art but this is actually a tv you can sit here watch some movies we'll continue down there is a nook right here in the middle up against this window Sit up here in the nook, get all cozy, uh, read a book. You can watch the movies here. I was sitting here with Bishop, making him giggle. He loved looking out the window. Bishop and I are thoroughly enjoying this window. Say hello, world. <laughs> what are you saying? You guys want to see the reality of coming to an Airbnb and how messy it gets? Look at all of our stuff everywhere. 
you get a good view of the cabin from the nook space right here as well and you're right next to the built-in fireplace this is a gas fireplace and i love how they built it into this corner you can see the shape goes all the way up to the ceiling very fitting for the style of cabin and of course the decor around is fitting as well that's all a good touch on the host's part and one thing about the walls i am loving the tudor style beams that they did on the wall now of course they're fake but they look really really good if you ask me and continuing with the small details the lights on the tv look great the bars on the window is very fitting as well it's not just one huge glass pane it looks like it's an old window that you'd see with the style of house now this is a split level so you can go up these stairs or down we'll go up first and this is where your main bedroom is at now there is no door off of this main bedroom so that's kind of why it's more for couples or just a uh, family with children so it's kind of open up here and up here we have the bed on this left side really nice nightstands and hanging lights on both sides as well the windows behind the bed frame and the bedding are all really high quality there is a small closet over here on this left side to hang up your clothes and one of my favorite features if we continue looking up the ceiling is blue with these golden stars it looks like it's glowing up here this is such a cool feature just these small details add so much to the space and this room feels cozy and then off of this is a bathroom this bathroom is very magical walking in here wallpaper on this top half all the way around the cobblestone flooring the vanity here in the middle with the gold fixtures even the antique style mirror above this and then there's a tiled shower right around here i'm loving the square tiling the golden fixtures for the shower head and knobs the glass window it all looks very high quality in here one of my favorite features though is on the door the lock it either says vacant or occupied and I've never seen a door lock like this for a bathroom. It's just the small details like that that I enjoy and that enhance my experience here at these Airbnbs. So that is everything on this top level. We can walk down these steps now and down into the kitchen. Kitchen's very cozy, lots of countertop space in here. The green cabinets, the gold fixtures, the black appliances, it all looks great. The oven right here in the middle is a gas oven. It's Z-Line and it stands out really well in this kitchen space. They have different textures all around in here from shiplap to backsplash tiling, the walnut shelves on either side of the vent hood, and even the vent hood design is very beautiful in here. To the left of this is the black Z-Line refrigerator. Very large, built in, looks great. Back behind this is your dining space. They have a built-in booth area. Fits four people perfectly. My whole family sat here. And then on this other side of the kitchen is your sink right here in the middle. Now, I really like the wood design underneath the sink. Stands out, apron front sink, and the green cabinets on both sides. You know, on top with the green cabinets looks great. The window right here, gold fixtures over here as well. Everything is cohesive in this kitchen and it's very spacious for this kind of footprint of a house. Where are you going? We'll go get dinner. Time to go get dinner? Yeah. You want to go get burritos or taco bowls? Yeah. Or Maya burrito. Very good my spot here. Burrito. It's like 13 minutes ba, away. Ba, ba. You hungry? Yeah. Whoa! It is definitely raining on us, but we are packing everybody up and going. Maya bowl. Oh boy. What do you think? I got the mac and cheese. Uh, mac and cheese bowl. Mm. Weston, how do you rate your quesadilla? Good. Do you want some, Bishop? Mac and cheese. Oopsies. Bowl gone. What would I rate it? Six out of ten. I wouldn't get it again. I've had the regular bowl before and I like that much better. But I filled me up. Savannah liked it though. Frozen yogurt taste test. You excited for frozen yogurt? Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> frozen yogurt was good. Welcome back to the car. Heading back to the cabin. It's funny how you talk. How do I talk? I don't wanna do it. <clears throat> frozen yogurt was good. Headed back to the cabin. <laughs> Is that how I talk? Yeah. Weston, what are you doing? Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at little baby Bishop taking his hat. Well, All right, you locking us in for the night? Yeah. It's about time to go get your jammies on. I'm going to my bed. This is the first night Weston's sleeping in like a big boy bed. Normally he sleeps in his crib, but I did not want to bring it. So we showed him a picture of his bed and he's so excited. <laughs> oh my goodness. Where are you sleeping? Right here. 
Wow. And this is the last level down in the basement, which is your second bedroom. Definitely for the kids because there is a bunk bed right up here against this wall uh, built in. There's lights in each of the bunk beds as well. Wallpaper all around. On this back wall, there is a washer and dryer if needed. So that's very nice and handy to have in a smaller style Airbnb. You're sleeping down there. I'm sleeping down here? Yeah. And you're sleeping up there? Yeah. Grouch! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus name. Amen. 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 How did everybody sleep? Mommy. This would be nice slept pretty good. That is everything. Feels like there's four levels to this place from the bedroom, the kitchen, the living room, and the upper bedroom, but it's just a split level design. All the details in here are incredible. If we walk back up to the living room, there is a door off of this. It's a Dutch style door, so the top half can open, and this leads you out into your outdoor deck space and your hot tub space in the back. So opening up this door, there's a couple seats out here if you want to hang out and chill out here, or you can walk down this path and they left your hot tub and outdoor dining area in this like rundown, ruined, cobblestone-y type of home. Very fitting with the Storybrooke style of this place. I'm really liking the details here with, with the rundown fireplace. They leave firewood here for you. There's a grill here. There's a table and chairs if you want to sit out here and eat. Then of course, the main attraction, the hot tub. A hot tub. Big old hot tub. Whoa, what are you doing? What's doing? Bubbles are on. Weston is liking the hot tub. I cool it down. It is hot. That's the whole point. <laughs> Open up this cover. You got the hot tub here in the middle. They have hanging lights and like broken beams all around. Brick that's in shambles, but it's definitely been thought out and put together. So that is everything with this Airbnb. What do you guys think? Leave comments down below. Trying out Coffee Emporium today. My first time here. I've driven past it so many times. It's a coffee shop here in Hawking Hills. Mm. Very good. How's the coffee? Oh, very good. Max finished spinach quiche is very good. Is it fun coming with Daddy to work? Subscribe. Subscribe. It's time to go home now. If you want to check out this place, the booking link is down in the description below. Uh, and thank you guys for watching this video. Share it, and I'll see you in the next one.